Well, we have some micro USB rechargeable flashlights that would be fantastic for your key ring. They weigh next to nothing, they are rechargeable, and they've got some power behind them. We have the Mech Army X4S and the Phoenix UC02. Now the Mech Army is on and the Phoenix is off for one reason. Uh, these both are about within a dollar of each other in price point. They're both very similar in size. They have very similar lumens. Uh, but the Phoenix is not the right choice. The Mech Army is much better in almost every single aspect. So I want to break this down for you. You know, I originally bought the Phoenix uh, just because I'm well, you know, versed in them, have many of their flashlights. Most of their products are great and I love them. Uh, so I went with this and was really disappointed with just some of the features. So I saw the Mech Army very similar. I don't know which one came first. Don't really care. I just know that the Mech Army is a much better performer. So I want to walk you through why that is and what these two have to offer so that you can make a wise choice at the end of this video, which one is the better one for you. And I think you're going to see right out of the gate, it's the Mech Army. So as I just said a moment ago, the Phoenix is not the winner in this. Now I'm going to explain why. And these are running about the same price point. Another reason why I'm running these up, they run about 25 bucks on Amazon. Links below. If you like the Mech Army in particular, but if for some reason you like the Phoenix at the end of this video, uh, the links will be below for both of these guys. And when you use those hyperlinks over to Amazon, that's a great way to help support the channel. It helps us to get out there, buy items just like this to do comprehensive videos to help you spend your money wisely. So I appreciate when you guys use those hyperlinks. So I don't know which of these two flashlights came first, but one of the things right out of the gate that I just want to share with you is that the Mech Army will be slightly larger. Um, this guy is going to come in, I think it just around like, two, um, maybe like... Uh, 1.75, two inches uh, on this one right here. And then this guy's gonna be like 1.75 on this one. This is like 3.3 ounces. This one's like 0.28, very close and about a half an inch in diameter, both aluminum bodies, both micro USB rechargeable. First thing the Mech Army gets right is that when you unscrew the head here, here is our little USB, um, our micro USB charger right there. So there's a little light that'll blink on and off when you're charging, all that stuff it will be green when you know it's recharged, which is great. I do believe that these do come with um, a quick charge as well. Yeah, I believe it's like under an hour is what I experienced, or like an hour is what I experienced when I did use this little guy. We got some um, little uh, O-ring right here, you know, to keep it water resistant, which is great, but the head does not remove. So you just unscrew it all the way. It's still seated there. Boom, you plug it in, recharge it when it's time to do that. Not the case on the Phoenix. The Phoenix one, same kind of concept, micro USB charger, little uh, O-ring here, little light that tells you when it's charging and all that, but the head has to come off for you to access it. This would be easily lost. So it's just thinking through the process. They really thought through with the Mech Army. This guy, not a huge deal, but it is annoying and you always got to make sure that you put this somewhere safe so you're not going to lose it. Second is the action and just the overall power mechanism. The Phoenix does not do a good job with this. First off, it's not stippled, so it's pretty slick. Nice stippling and heavy texturing on the Mech Army, so it's easy to grab. You know, if my fingers were kind of greasy or slick, uh, it, it would not be easy for me to engage this. I would have to definitely, you know, use two hands, really work with the thing. Um, so when you turn this guy, it gets tighter. The problem is that when the first light engages, you can see here, if I put pressure on it, I can engage the brighter, the, the higher brightness. The sensor and just the compression, because it's a compression light, you know, the tighter you make it go, the brighter it goes, and the more, you know, the closer it is to the battery. Um, it, it doesn't work very well. And the biggest problem for me is you can over tighten it. So I maxed it out. I screwed it all the way down. The power goes out. Then I have to back it off try and find it again, turn it off, walk it back up. It's just super annoying. That is a huge, that is a major annoyance to me. And that happens every time. And that's not just my model. I've seen this on a couple other uh, YouTube videos that I watch where people are having the same issue where you over tighten this and it doesn't work. The Mech Army does not have that problem. You screw this guy down, the action's a little easier. The texturing makes it much easier to grab. You get that. I put, I'm pushing all pressure on it. It's not changing the brightness at all. And then I screw this guy all the way down to get that max brightness and I tighten it all the way down to lockout and it's still running. That's just a no-brainer to me. I do not know why the Phoenix is having that issue and that was just a design flaw that they should have thought through. So much better with the action on the Mech Army. Now the power ranges are very similar. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Mech Army here. Now, um, and the Mech Army has the quick one hour charge. The Phoenix does not mention that. So that is something that I've noticed and uh, that's just in their, uh, 
um, directory when you're looking up the specs and stuff. So this might charge a little bit quicker than the Phoenix as well. But when you crank this guy down the first time, you are going to get eight lumens for six hours. I have run this to dry on both and it's ballparking. What I'm, the, the times that I'm giving you are relatively close. Uh, so you're going to get six hours of eight lumens with this guy. Then if you crank it down again, you're going to get 130 lumens for 30 minutes. I have run it at high as well. Same thing. I get between 25, 30 minutes, and then it really starts to dim out on me. So very close to what they suggest. And uh, it gives you a good power output for such a small rechargeable flashlight, both with the 8 lumens and with the 130. Now, this is where I also take issue with the Phoenix. It's just not a better light. Not only in construction, manipulation, how it works, all of it. Uh, when we rock this guy, we're at 10 lumens. So we get two lumens more, but it's only three hours and 50 minutes. And I have used this for about a month prior to purchasing the Mech Army. And I would say that that's pretty accurate. It was between three and four hours that I was experiencing with this lower when I ran it a couple times and don't, you know, let it die. So it is accurate. But I mean, that's like two hours less than what this guy is doing at eight lumens. Then if we boost it up to the max lumens, you can see there again, so it's so annoying that you can like over tighten it. There we go. Uh, it's 130 lumens, just like the Mech Army, but the problem is it's only 25 minutes. And I would agree with that. It's definitely less than 30. It's between 20, 25 minutes. So we're looking at less runtime with the same amount of lumens. So the Mech Army is running at 59 meters of distance is what this guy can throw at. And it's going to have... 910 at peak beam intensity candelas or the the rating in which the power you know candle you know brightness that it's having at that max intensity whereas at max intensity uh, we're not only looking at 48 meters of throw with the Phoenix, so about 10 meter, 9 meters less, which is not good. And then it's only 570 candelas. Uh, so that's almost, you know, like a third less than what the Mech Army is running. It's got less battery life. It's got less throw. It's got less candle power at peak efficiency. It's just bad in every way you slice it. Whereas for me, the Mech Army definitely beats it out on every level for within a dollar price point. So I'm um, really disappointed in what Phoenix has produced with this model and really impressed with what Mech Army has produced with this model. And between the two, Mech Army wins hands down in every way. So there you have it, folks. Totally digging this little guy. Um, you know, it's definitely that USB rechargeable. So if when it's dead, you got to take it off the key ring and plug it in and you're going to be out your flashlight for a little while. So that is something that you always need to consider when you are deciding between, you know, battery powered that if it's dead, you just go grab another battery, throw it in, walk out the door or the rechargeable factor. So I love how small this thing is. I love the price point. I love the power that this offers. It's pretty crazy, just technology. I mean, I remember remember the old keychain mag lights, you know, it's like 10 lumens with a AAA powered battery. You know, it was like the smallest flash that you could find for your keychain. And now just the power, the rechargeable capabilities and the compact size that is now on the market is insane. So the Mech Army is definitely the way to go in this small, you know, peanut size, compact size, micro USB rechargeable in my opinion of the two designs that we've looked at today. I want to thank you for so much for coming over here today and checking out the channel. Uh, check us out on all the relevant social media. That's a great way to see what's up and coming, what we're working on next. Uh, check us out as well through the links that you're seeing popping up any moment now with the subscribe button as well as the other videos that we have recently posted up. We're posting up videos every single week. Um, comment below. I answer any questions that you guys have. Liking the video always helps as well. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.